Well, in today's video, we're gonna talk about a neighborhood I think is one of the best in Chesapeake, South Chesapeake, for being close access to Chesapeake and also Norfolk and the oceanfront of Virginia Beach. That's right. Ravenna is the neighborhood and we're starting right now. Hey, my name is Sam Santalone and I'm a real estate agent in the Hampton Roads area that goes from the South, Virginia Beach, all the way up through Williamsburg. And I do videos every week about living and moving to the entire area. And today we're talking about Ravenna, which is, I don't know if you've probably ever never ever even heard of Ravenna. Well, this is a small neighborhood, but it is a very easily accessible neighborhood that is in one of the most prime school districts in Chesapeake. But one of the reasons why people don't like to move to Chesapeake if they live or work in uh, Virginia Beach or Norfolk is because because it is a often a longer drive from Chesapeake up to those places. But this one is easy access to primarily the oceanfront side of Virginia Beach, which is so hard to find in Chesapeake. So we'll talk about where it is, we'll talk about the neighborhood itself, and the things to do around there, all the cool stuff around, the school districts, etc. just so you can get a feel of what it's like to live here in case you want to move here, especially if you wanna uh, move here and work in Virginia Beach. And I'll also talk about the drawbacks uh, to living in Ravenna at the end of the video as well because there are some I think that would be worth mentioning and keeping in mind if you do plan to live here. So first of all, where is Ravenna on the map? Well, if you look on the map, you'll see, if you look, you'll see the Virginia Beach and then there's Chesapeake and you know how big Chesapeake is and you've seen all of my videos about Chesapeake, but on the south, like kind of southeastern section of Chesapeake, right near Virginia Beach uh, is a road called Centerville Turnpike and that goes north and south. Well, then going east and west, there's another, another road called Mount Pleasant Road and this is eventually turns into Virginia Beach. Well, right before you get to Virginia Beach, there is a, a neighborhood just off of Mount Pleasant called Ravenna. So coming off of Mount Pleasant Road, the cool part about this is that the access point to Virginia Beach is so much more convenient uh, from Ravenna. Take Mount Pleasant going east, it then connects to a road called North Landing Road, and that road is a road, that, it's a country road that takes you, eventually winds you all the way towards the southeastern corner of Virginia Beach. You don't have to go all the way around the, the, the north side to get to Virginia Beach. This is a super convenient way to get there. Now drive distance, this is where it gets real helpful. You are about 30 minutes or just less of their drive, straight drive to the Norfolk Navy Base, which is in the northwestern section of Norfolk. You're also about 20 minutes away from Town Center, which is the center of Virginia Beach, believe it or not. And you're also only about 25 minutes or so away from the ocean front of Virginia Beach, maybe just under 30 minutes or so. And so in most of the landmarks, this is, this is shorter than most parts of Chesapeake, whereas you might have to be 30, 35 minutes away from other places if you live in other parts of Hickory School District and other parts of South Chesapeake. If you feel like you know 25, 30 minutes is kind of like your max, I would check this neighborhood out if you want, if you need and want the size houses that Ravenna has. What is this neighborhood like? So if you look, if you drive in off of Mount Pleasant Road, you notice it's not a big neighborhood, but it's a very nice neighborhood. It's got a lot of awesome brick houses in it. Very welcoming, very inviting, very rich and classic uh, in style. These were built though in the, like the two th mid 2000s up through the early 2010s, 2012 or so. And so, so these aren't too terribly old. And in here you notice that there are different styles, different, if you, if you will, elevations of floor plans, but they're all brick. Uh, and so it has the same kind of general vibe to the entire neighborhood. Now let's talk about the real estate uh, in Ravenna. This is, I love these houses. It's not a very big neighborhood. Only I think probably a couple hundred, if that, uh, houses in here, probably more like 150, which is one of the reasons why it, people don't really talk about this one very much. But these houses are pretty nice size. Most of them are between 3,000 and 4,000 square feet, but you'll see some in like the 26, 27, 2800 range. You can go over four though. There are some that are five, six. I've seen them over 7,000 square feet, especially in the back. There are a few near the back that are pretty big. Uh, and so if you want size, this is a neighborhood to go after. And the reason partly is because it's in the Hickory School District, the Hickory High School District, and we'll talk about that later. Because they're bigger houses, you kind of need bigger lot sizes too, but you get, you're get you usually getting about a third of an acre to a half of an acre. And you'll see some that are closer to like a three quarters to a, even an acre, or I've even seen some backed up to the wood.
woods uh, that are like a half, a one and a half acres or more. And so this is a mixture of country and suburban feel uh, together. And once, this is why you can get some lots that are larger in, in uh, size. But you'll find a lot of different options in here, especially if you want uh, uh, bedrooms on the first floor, because these are bigger sizes, often five, six bedrooms. And so there will be often four bedrooms or five on the top floor, but sometimes that extra bedroom on the first floor or ranch, larger ranch style houses uh, that uh, allow for the more of the living to take place on the first floor. So you do have some options as far as bedroom location, which is important. And if you want that mother-in-law suite element and you can't find what you're looking for, you might be able to find one that has a, a, a bedroom on the first floor here that might work well for what you're looking for. And one of the benefits I think about this neighborhood is that it is brick. Most of these houses are pretty fully brick. I don't know of any that actually aren't. So, you know, you'll see a lot of houses that are built in the 2000s, 2010 range that are vinyl or have elements of vinyl to them, but these are all brick that, you know, it adds another uh, stately look to the neighborhood, uh, and more of a classic look that I think is nice, but again, it probably comes for, comes with the price. So these prices are anywhere from like the low sixes, upwards of the $900,000 price range mostly, but really I'd say a majority are between six and 700,000. But if you want a, a house that has that five or six bedroom, or you'll have more options here than possibly other parts of Chesapeake. So I would say it's more of a condensed uh, option or section for the style and, and size of house that this area has. There are some others in Chesapeake, but this has this, this, the style that, that is very appealing, but also the convenience to Virginia Beach, which I cannot stress enough. This is the thing that makes this area a little bit more, more appealing to others in the southern parts of Chesapeake to me. So one thing about this neighborhood that I like a lot is that it has that country element to it, but it's not too far away from most of the rest of Chesapeake or other parts of the area like Virginia Beach where thing, there are things to do. Because that's one thing about Chesapeake that people do have a uh, hard time and struggle with is that you're in that South Chesapeake area, you get the school districts you want, you get the house that you want, but you're often not super close to a lot of other stuff in the Hampton Roads area. And so, th so while it's not too terribly much of a difference drive uh, from a to other parts of, of South Chesapeake to like the rest of the area. It's close enough to where I think it might feel a little bit more palpable. Um, at the same time though, you still feel like you're in the country area and so you might not like that if you didn't want to be in Chesapeake at all. So it still has that country vibe that a lot of Chesapeake has, especially South Chesapeake. And you're also close to Mount Pleasant where there's a lot of other, other farmland nearby. A lot of growth happened in the 90s and 2000s here. So you're kind of sur you're surrounded or close to, I should say, near a lot of where the growth in South Chesapeake uh, happened. But then if you go further away from Chesapeake into Virginia Beach, you'll get closer to uh, more just more agricultural areas. Now, if you go down Mount Pleasant further towards the east, you'll go towards the uh, Fentress Airfield, which is a sm much smaller, but still an airstrip that is not as big as Oceana is, but it still has lots of jets that fly in and out of here. So uh, it's not that you're just right on that airstrip, but you're close enough to where you will hear jet noise, which is one of the negatives that I'll talk about later in the video. Now the school districts in Ravenna. So first of all, you've got Butts Road Primary. Uh, that's the elementary school, as well as you've got Hickory Middle and High School. And if you look at niche.com, these are some high ranked school districts, especially Hickory High School. One of the highest ranked uh, high schools, not just in Chesapeake, but anywhere in the Hampton Roads area. So the demand here is for the school districts. And if you want uh, great schools, people will say Hickory is one of the best. Now another thing I'll mention about Ravenna is that it is in an HO. It's in the Ravenna HOA, and so it's not a big HOA though. This is only about $35 a month. So if you're looking for that like community pool, you know, big playground, big access to a lot of community spaces, this is not the kind of HOA that I think you'll, you'll be looking for. Now, what about things to do around Ravenna? Well, first of all, you're about 20 minutes or so away from the Great Dismal Swamp, a huge protected area on the southwestern corner of Chesapeake. And also, more in nature, southeastern corner of Virginia Beach, about 30 minutes away, you're near Back Bay Wildlife refuge. So two pretty serene uh, places if you want to do some wildlife, some, some hiking, uh, even canoeing, even towards Back Bay, good spot for that and some camping. Of course, you're also close about 20 or so minutes away from downtown Norfolk. So you want that nightlife element, that's the place I would go about 20 minutes away. And also town center in Virginia Beach about 20 minutes away. But I mentioned before, the oceanfront is about 25 to 30 minutes away, closer to 30 minutes away uh, uh, from Ravenna. But a lot of these things are outdoor like nature stuff. So that if you don't like that element, you want the nightlife, I would definitely check out uh, downtown Norfolk for that. Now grocery stores, shopping. So this is a part that if you want to be somewhere close to shopping, 
you can, you, you're okay if you're okay with like 10, 15 minutes. Otherwise, you might still feel like you're in the country. You're about, I'd say, eight to 10 minutes away from the closest shopping access. For example, Greenbrier is about 10 to 12 minutes away. And you're also about 10 minutes or so away from the south section near Hanbury. You've got Harris Teeter down there. You've got more shopping going uh, west into South Chesapeake, which is again, again, another about 10 to 12 minutes away. But you're not close to anything, except for one grocery store that's the closest, which is Kroger, which is really only about three, four minutes away. So that's pretty close. So you get your essentials met, but it still feels like you're in the country if you're in, in near Ravenna, which it's not a matter of the accessible time-wise distance to shopping and to Target, which is like 12 minutes. It's more about the fact that it still feels like you're further away than it actually uh, you actually really are. It's gonna feel like you're leaving a, a country town to get into more of the suburban parts of Chesapeake. Now let's talk about the drawbacks to living here. Well, I mentioned briefly about the jet noise. This is a spot that does get some jet noise, and it's 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 not one of the loudest you'll hear like at Oceana, but it's enough to where you you will. You will hear some, and I would definitely be aware of that before you move here. And so if you if you don't want any at all, I don't think I would pick this area for that reason. Another drawback is the Mount Pleasant Road itself. If you're coming from Virginia Beach, you're going back and forth uh, from Virginia Beach to Chesapeake through that road, Mount Pleasant towards North Landing Road. Several miles of that road is two lanes, and so you got one lane going both directions, and you'll see a lot, it's just kind of a country road. And so if you don't like to drive down country roads, especially in the evening times or, you know, not you know not daylit for example this might not be super comfortable for you because it is a longer road and so in order to get to where you might want to go it's going to be several miles to drive down that long road so it's a cut through in one sense but it might not be the most convenient one just as far as an experience uh, perspective goes another drawback is a lot of the larger uh, parcels of land uh, in Ravenna might have pieces of land that have unusable space in them so it doesn't feel as big as you might have expected for the size of land that you might see online so for example if you get a, a find a lot that's like an acre plus, a lot of that acreage might be a uh, you know forest behind you. You know, so you've got still a yard size that feels like a typical, more typical suburban lot size, like a third of an acre, but you got more, a lot more yard behind it that is not, it's still yours, but it's not as usable, uh, for example. So if you're expecting a big, large open space, this might not be the neighborhood for you. Now, if you have any questions about living or moving to Chesapeake or other cities in Hampton Roads, I help people all the time move to this area. I have my contact information in the description. You can reach out to me at any time and I'll do whatever I can to help you. And I will see you on the next video.